It's that season for our country again. You know, every four years when you decide who will run our United States of America. Now, let's be honest. In the back of your head, or maybe the front, you're thinking, is all this that big of a deal? I mean, can't the president only be president for eight years at most? That's not that long. Really, what's the worst thing that can happen in eight years? Well, besides making decisions that affect our economy, homeland security, foreign policy, and the like, there's something else the president we elect in November gets to do. He gets to appoint judges. And just so we're clear, Supreme Court and federal judges are appointed for life, as in forever. Their influence on our nation continues many years past the term of the president who appointed them. Just to give you an idea, the current administration has appointed two Supreme Court judges, 30 U.S. Courts of Appeals judges, 126 U.S. District Court judges, Plus, 35 nominations are awaiting Senate confirmation, and 70 additional vacancies are expected to be filled during the current term. On average, two-term presidents appoint 40% of the 874 judges in the above categories. These judges will serve on the bench, making decisions that affect life, marriage, the economy, and religious freedom in America, until they retire or die. So your vote for a presidential candidate on November 6 is also a vote for the men and women of the judiciary who make decisions that will impact America for years to come. Don't leave the future of our nation to chance. Make your voice heard on Election Day. Register and vote. Go to judgingpresidents.com.